Falcon Island massacre, the IRA and Loyalist ceasefires were called. So the whole world attention was on this new future that Northern Ireland was facing, this new sense of hope. Like other atrocities, Lockheed Island became something that you didn't talk about because nobody wanted to reopen the past. The only people who remembered Lockheed Island was the families and the loved ones. Time went on and we chose to stay quiet because that was our nature, that was the nature of this community, just get on with your life. So we waited and we waited and, you know, we were drip fed bits of information about people who suspects haven't been arrested and we kept thinking, right, this is it now. And then after about, I would say a year, two years, it just stopped, there was no contact. And again, we chose just to stay quiet and hope, hope that someday somebody would be brought to justice. I think I as a, you know, deserve the truth to know what happened. Like, my daddy was only 34, that's not much older than what I am now. Like, he was young, to me he was old. You know, he had a stash and it was my daddy, he was old. I was eight, he was an old, not an old man, but, like, and he wasn't, he was 34 years of age. stand up for him and I don't fight my daddy's corner, who else is going to do it? I want somebody to be held accountable for what happened here.